hi aries spiritual barbie here welcome to the channel and welcome back if you're returning welcome if you're new guys please remember to like this video comment down below subscribe to the channel and i want to have a look at your week aries with your person This is your reading for the week of the 12th of July, 2021, you guys. Aries, intimacy is coming into your connection. Two of you guys will have a lot of intimacy, love, desire, passion for each other. Intimacy is the focus this week as well. So, um, you know, your person, they're coming out of struggling. And um, you guys were there for them. You had a lot of compassion for them. And now they're coming out of this. They're coming out of a time of having to be understanding for them, okay? Okay, so you guys are going to be communicating a lot. There's going to be a truth that this person tells you or multiple truths. And planning for the future, this person's going to tell you a truth. Okay, they're going to tell you something that they've been holding on to for a long time or something that is very near and dear to their heart. And it's about a third party, about a friendship, about somebody that they used to know, somebody that they used to date. Okay, and it's some stuff about them and possibly some things that they told them, some harsh words that were expressed, some, um, whoa, whoa. This person, you know, something about their ex, you know, maybe their ex was involved in certain things and um, they're going to open up to you and tell you stuff about them so you can understand them better just because it comes up for some of you guys. You guys are just talking. So the way this person feels for you this week is very deep and they're just letting themselves feel their feelings for you. They could be a little bit um, unknown or uncertain about you this week, feeling like you're um uh, just a little bit of a puzzle but a perfect puzzle like you know this person is not going to be so in um insecure you know they, they might not be able to control you in all ways and they're just trusting and believing that okay i can't control my aries but i still love aries so i'm just going to trust it there's a reason why i can't control you but or i can't always figure you out but at the same time um I love you and I'm drawn to you, okay? This person is very pure and their feelings and their truth, the words that they're sharing to you this week are very honest and pure and true, okay? Uh, so this person, this is a long-winded discovery for them. They're also going to have some realizations. They're, they're, they're going to have some long-awaited realizations about you this week and about this connection this week, okay? How they've been stopping it, how they've been delaying things. So this person, what they're gonna be doing this week is like shutting you down. Like there's some arguments here, like they're not gonna let you speak. This person is um, trying to stop you from making a decision. They're trying to um, hold on to you even though you wanna let them go or they're they're not under they're like this person's like just not really understanding like they're not really seeing you clearly let's just put it that way they're not seeing you clearly they're in contrast okay so they're they're in love like this is new love this person you know this connection it makes this person have to trust but they just don't know how to trust it this is a new beginning as well, a new connection or a newer connection for some of you guys, right? And so this person doesn't really know you very well, and this is how they act when they don't really know someone very well or when they don't really trust someone or something. And this connection is calling for this person to have strength, okay? <clears throat> They're also putting down their guards and they're not going to be holding back from you as much anymore. They're not going to be shutting themselves out from you. 
they're, they're, they want to come out of the cold. Aries, you guys are having a hard time understanding this person, and quite frankly, this person is just very defensive, they're overly defensive, they don't like opening up, they're guarded, they shut themselves out, um, they're very strong though, and there's something around a new beginning in love that this person is having, so, this, you know, this person might be having a new beginning in love for themselves, and so they're protecting themselves, okay, and so when they, that's how, that's why they get this way, alright? This person is surrendering. They're under. They're getting spiritual enlightenment and seeing things from another perspective, becoming more open-minded, and seeing how this connection is their wish fulfilled, and realizing that this connection is their wish fulfilled. They're also worried. So you know, this person's very worried, very scared. It's a scared person. So Aries, the way you feel about this person is you feel like this person is your wish come true. It's because you got the victory. Okay, you're really wishing for this person. It's because this person, you, you feel confident in yourself. They make you feel confident in yourself. You feel like this person really cares for you. And you know that this person isn't going anywhere. Okay, no matter what you do, no matter what happens. Okay. So you guys are really like coming out of being fearful of how this person is treating you and behaving or you're just not or you're staying you're becoming extremely fearful of how this person is treating you and how this person is acting. You guys are starting to get defensive and protective over yourself and you guys are also walking away from connections and situations that don't serve you. Okay, you're leaving behind things that don't serve you, but you're also getting stuck. Like you guys, this person here that you're connecting with, they make you very indecisive. They make you not trust yourself. You know, they make you go around and around and around in circles. And you know, really, all you want is um, direction. You want to know where this is going. You want to plan for the future. <clears throat> They're going to tell you the truth about this. They're going to open up to you. This is all like someone like this person. And then you're you. But you guys feel like this is your divine counterpart. You feel like this is your twin flame. Your soulmate. They are. You're getting signs and synchronicities from the universe. And from the world around you. That's showing you that this person is your twin flame soulmate. This is a this is a resistant person. That's how they are. That's how this person is. And has, it really doesn't have much to do with you, Aries. It's just really how they are. are kind of like stuck in fear about this like you're fearful about um, looking into this or finding out the truth about what's really going on you know this person they feel like you're elusive so that might be the reason why you get an elusive energy off this person because they feel like you're the one that's elusive um, but you might feel like you want to know more about whether or not this person is cheating or if this person has someone else or if this what is this person really doing like you guys feel like you want an explanation or you need an explanation about this connection or about this person okay now you guys this connection is having a happy um, culmination a happy event take place at this time the present moment is for enlightenment and success joy okay and it's because you guys got you guys got a victory all right you guys got a victory in this connection you're getting the validation that you were hoping for 
you're getting the success that you're hoping to achieve or that you deserve to achieve not that you were hoping for you're getting the success that you deserve like that's what happens when you meet somebody that's like real you know then they're gonna do what they said that they were gonna do and you're just getting that from someone oh my phone's here hello Hi. Oh, thank you. Would you just leave it there? You want me to just leave it on the steps? Yes, please. Thank you. You too. All right, bye. I'm gonna go grab my food because sometimes they forget my dessert. I like to know early if I don't have dessert. But it's okay, you guys. It's not his fault. So that's why I'm just like, it's fine. Just leave it. Um, so in the recent past, you know this person and you guys went into solitude you went into separation you guys started doing a lot of thinking you might have spent some time apart i just might have been studying focused on school work whatever it is you were doing you guys aries were extremely introspective in the um distant past in the recent past and um there's a there's like some shut out energy there's some abandonment wounds that this person caused on you or caused towards you or you guys caused on each other that this week that you guys have been wanting to release come out of free yourself from separate yourself from and this week um the unfoldings of this week is to come bring you out of that so you can understand where they come from and understand what they're trying to tell you or what this really means a lot of you guys do not understand why you know connections in the past had to end or why certain things happened in old relationships and that confusion is brought over in this new connection and that's going to be released from this current connection that you're in right now all right because you know some of you guys have been stuck in the past and things that happened in the past are unexplainable we get stuck there all right so let's close this out All right, so reflection is what is called for this week. Give each other some space at the at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Reflection, all right? This person is reflecting. You are reflecting. And trust that everything's going to work out for the best. Introspection and reflection is, you know, that's what's called for. That's what, you know, that's what's going to bring about healing. And that's the advice from the angels, okay? So you guys, God bless you. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know if I'm going to extend them this week. Probably not for Aries. But I might extend it. If, check the link down below in the description bar. If you ever want to know if I'm extending it, check the link down below. Um, because sometimes I say I'm not going to extend it, and then I end up extending it. Um, I'll just see how I feel later on, or if I feel guided to later on. Okay? So bless you guys. Talk soon. Bye-bye.